know I try, but I don't do too well with apology. Hi guys, it is me, Sam Quirker. Hi, 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 hi. It's it's been a, a little over a week now since I posted my last video, which was my morning routine. And if you haven't checked that out, it'll be linked down below, and you should totally watch that. But today's video, if you can tell from the title, is my Thanksgiving outfits and makeup idea for Thanksgiving, which I said twice now. But um, I know Canadian Thanksgiving was a little while ago, but American Thanksgiving is coming up. I believe it's next week. Turkey Day is next week, yes. So if you are stressing out what to wear, I have outfits for all kinds of like from informal to very formal. I've got you covered. So um, if you're interested to see how I got this makeup look and what my outfit ideas are for you, just stay tuned. Oh, and be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Comment down below what outfit is your favorite and subscribe for more videos. Um, I think that's all I've got for you. Also, I have all of my like social network, social media links down below and you should totally give those a follow because I'd love to see who's watching my videos and get to know you guys. That would be great. Okay, that's all I've got for you. Enjoy the video. Bye! To start off my makeup look, I am going to begin with some primer and then start in with my foundation. My foundation is actually a bit light for me, so just use the foundation that is closest to your skin type or skin color. And next I'm going in with my NYX concealer and just applying that over any blemishes to hide. And I'm just using a damp beauty blender to blend both of those in. And then after that, I am setting all of my face products with a translucent powder. Going in with my highlight and my under eye brightener. Um, I'm using two concealers. I'm using the Maybelline Adrian and just a light um, concealer that I have um, and highlighting my cupid bow, cupid's bow under my lip, under my eyes, along the bridge of my nose and just the top of my forehead. And I also conceal my eyelids with this concealer as well. Next I'm going in with the banana powder and the highlight powder from the Shade and Light palette from Kat Von D and just highlighting and using the banana powder to um, make sure that my concealer stays put for the rest of the day. And then I'm going to go in with the two lightest shades of in the contour palette and contouring my cheeks and my forehead and a little bit on my nose and a little bit in my jawline. Make really excellent cute faces when I contour. And then I'm going in with the Dandelion Blush by Benefit and just putting that on my cheeks, helping to blend out the contour. And then I'm just applying the Milani Eyeshadow Primer and going in and doing my eyebrows with, I believe it is Maybelline's Brow Drama Brow Pencil and Brow Gel, which I will be using in just a minute. It is Maybelline. Yes, Sam. Good job. And then I'm using Urban Decay's Makeup Setting Spray. And fanning that out because I always spray too much. And then next I'm going in with a light pink shadow from e.l.f and just applying that all over my eyelid just because I needed a shimmery base. And that's really what the colors are gonna be for this eyeshadow. I really wanted a very plummy color. Um, next I'm going in with a light brown eyeshadow just to make sure that blending will be easier with it. Just 
adding that to the crease and making sure to blend that out and then adding a little bit darker of an eyeshadow to my crease. And then what you're really going to do is play around with how dark you want it. I just kept adding darker colors. I added a darker plum to the crease. And you can see my shadows just keep getting darker. And I add it just to the outer corner at this point. And I just keep adding that plum or a darker brown. So as you can tell, the darker color. And then I'm just going to blend all that out in just a minute. Blend all that out so that it just gets better. And then mascara. And I did brush away any fallout because I did use e.l.f. Um, eyeshadow so there was a lot of fallout with that so I did take a clean brush and get all fallout and then I added bad girl lash and then I'm just adding this um, Milani lipstick after adding chapstick to my lips and that is the makeup look very simple, very, 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 very wearable. Something that you'll get complimented on when you show it off at a family event. And I just think it's very easy to wear for the holidays. And now on to outfits. Outfit number one, I got this shirt at Ross, so I'm not exactly sure where it's from. And then my skirt is thrifted, but it's just a plain pencil skirt. It's a gray pencil skirt, and then I just added black tights, and I'm wearing black booties with it. I just feel like it's very becoming, it's kind of like business appropriate. The next shirt I am wearing is from Old Navy. It has cute little foxes on it. And I'm just wearing a white tank top underneath of that, and it's a white button up, and then I'm wearing these really cute like mustard colored pants from Old Navy and then with this I'm just wearing some brown loafers and I just fell in love with this outfit I saw it on a mannequin there and loved it and then for my next outfit I'm wearing this um, blanket scarf from Rue 21 a sweater from Old Navy um, jeans from I think Old Navy too. I think I might be high-waisted high jeans from Ross possibly. And then just some booties. Oh no, I'm wearing these boots. Um, I don't know if you know the L.L. Bean boots, but these are L.L. Bean knockoffs from Rue 21. And I'm wearing some camp socks with those and my Rue 21 scarf. Which if you're looking for good blanket scarves and some L.L. Bean knockoffs so you don't have to pay $120, Definitely go check out your Rue 21. They're definitely doing sales right now for both, and they are must haves for my summer. Or for my summer, for my fall collection. So, definitely places to go and look. Definitely good things. And that is my video for you all for Thanksgiving. I hope you have a wonderful one. Got up in my, got up in my day